Hello everyone, welcome, thanks for stopping in. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming by. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you're updated and also hit that little bell so that you'll get notifications of my newly released videos. Today's video is going to be about our coffee bar. Its location came about basically because of a dissatisfaction I had with one side of my kitchen. Nearly the entire length consisted of windows and doors. So as part of another project, we decided to have the picture window replaced with sliding glass doors and to have the door closed off. And we were able to install these cabinets in that area allowing for more storage. Although it was great having the additional storage, somehow it just didn't aesthetically appeal to me. It wasn't as symmetrical with the other side of the refrigerator and it just didn't feel right. Just to the left of this cabinetry is where we spend most of our time in the kitchen, at the kitchen table there. So I just felt like something else would make sense there. And although we had a small beverage bar on the other side of the kitchen, quite far away from where we're usually sitting, I thought that this area might be a great place to put the new coffee bar. I decided to keep this one as the cold beverage station and to move the new coffee bar over to the other side. It had to be something that was a little bit shallow because the area was a pretty high traffic area. And all the items that we were running across were either too wide for the area or too deep. Then we ran into this piece here. I got the idea from Nikki at At Home with Nikki. Check out her page. She's absolutely wonderful with tons of great ideas. So this piece turned out to be heaven sent. It was almost as if it was a custom size for that area. It had a few bad spots on it. It had glass that needed to be replaced. There was veneer that was either missing or peeling and chipping, but that wasn't a problem for us. We're DIYers and we love a challenge. So my husband replaced some of the wood and some of the veneer. We took the uh, doors off and we removed the overlays from them. We headed out to Lowe's and had the glass that was broken replaced. They will cut glass for you as all you need is your measurements. So we took the piece outside, wiped it down. My husband actually did a deglazing on it or a deglossing and we began to paint. We used a Valspar paint with primer in it. It was not a special paint like a Benjamin Moore Peacock Feathers. I don't even remember what the name of it is. It just happens to be the same sample I keep taking back to Lowe's repeatedly that matched our cabinets. So it's just an off-white color, a creamy off-white color, and this is how it came out. It perfectly matches the kitchen cabinets. I don't have a name of it. If I can find a name, I'll put it down below. And even though we'll start off with a sprayer, I almost always finish up with a brush and or roller, as I did with this. Once everything was dry, we bought them in and prepared to install them. We found the studs and everything was installed by actually using cabinet screws and attaching into studs. Initially, I wasn't sure on the lower piece how many drawers I wanted to keep, if I wanted to return the doors, or how I was going to set it up. I knew that the top drawer would be utilized. So just while I was deciding, I kept the pulls on there just so we could get in and out of that drawer while I was deciding on what I wanted to do with it. We had an electrician relocate the outlet and my husband and I installed the same backsplash that we have in the rest of the kitchen. And here's a look at my new coffee bar. The marble drawer pull was purchased at Hobby Lobby. The cup pulls can be purchased at Lowe's.
Not only is it a great coffee bar, but it turned out to be a wonderful place for me to display some of my favorite white dishes that was hiding in another cabinet. Now they're here on display and I love it. There's still a lot of space on the bottom shelves. I'm not sure yet what I'll use them for. So now I just put a few decorative pieces in it. I added some tap lights that also came from Lowe's. They come with a remote, a timer is on the remote, and there's several settings that you can use the lights on like a high, medium, and a low, or 10%, 40%, 50%, something like that. Here's a little look at how we organize our coffee. I like a clean area, so I didn't want any coffee storage on top of it so it's all hidden away here all of our flavors are right here in the top drawer then in the next drawer we just keep some of our cups that are our favorite cups but they're not so cute and the next drawer we keep our excess coffees our refill coffees and the next drawer is our emergencies we're in an area of the country that you may have a blackout at any time and you don't want creamer that you can't get to. I learned that with the last storm that we had. So I have creamers down there that don't need to be refrigerated. This top drawer here is where I keep the teas and cinnamon sticks. The drawer on the other side, we just keep some hot cocoa and some marshmallows. We love the way it came out. Our initial plan was to get a slab of granite that matches our granite to go on top of it. However, the company that we love that has rows and rows of remnants is two hours away. So for now, we're happy with the painted top. We love it. It's my favorite place to come to in the morning. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you were able to take away some ideas for your own. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer anything I can for you. I'm sure I left something out. Once again, thanks for watching. Until next time, you guys, this is Karen T. Saying so long for now.